Today is World Kidney Day and the surgical director of the Kidney Transplant Center at St. David's North Austin Medical Center, Dr. Jackie Lappin is joining us. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning, Ashley. How are Tell you? Us, good. Thank you. Tell us, you know, World Kidney Day, what is the, what is this day all about? So it's a global initiative and it's a, it's a global healthcare initiative, which is a joint initiative of the International Society of Nephrology and also the International Federation of Kidney Foundations. It has uh, several goals. One is to really underscore and illustrate to people the importance of kidney transplantation uh, as the optimal course of treatment for patients with end-stage renal disease. Mm -hmm. And really important in addition to that is to underscore the role of organ donation and the fact that it is a life-saving initiative. Right, and that organ donation, when it comes to kidneys, doesn't have to happen after you pass. You can actually be a living donor with the kidneys, correct? So a living kidney donor is actually the optimal treatment for patients with end-stage renal disease. Hmm. Uh, rather than going on dialysis, uh, it's even more, it's more superior to deceased donor transplantation. And what, do we know why that is? It's probably a combination of things, but you're getting a healthy kidney, uh, you're getting in a timely fashion, and um, you, we know the, uh, all the medical details of the donor. Now some donors may be a little concerned about the idea, right, or some people out there may be concerned about the idea that you could give a kidney away. But you can give, you know, you can give so, a kidney. So there's no question. We have a lot of evidence to support the fact that it is safe if you have two healthy kidneys to be a kidney donor. In fact, there are a lot of studies which show that kidney donors even live longer than non-kidney donors, probably because they self-select themselves out. But if you carefully evaluate a donor that they uh, and the trajectory of their future health, um, and give them the various ground rules of what they need to do going forward, they can live a perfectly healthy, safe life uh, uh, with their own life expectancy. Wow, if someone is interested or thinks maybe I could, I could do this, maybe I could be good for, for being donating a kidney, what should they do or how can they be screened? So there are a lot of ways to do that. You can either check, uh, there, there is the biggest platform uh, which I'm excited to say we are currently a part of, which is the National Kidney Registry. Uh, you can log into their web page and take a look there. It gives you all the options for if I want to be a kidney donor or if I'm a patient that needs a kidney. Mm. And there you can find your local center and uh, you can do an online access to a health screening uh, that will determine if you need, if you can go forward or not. So that's, I mean, education is powerful. Yeah, absolutely. You guys even have a hotline set up for pe for people. We have, we do have a hotline. Uh, it's 512-901-2884. That's our living donor hotline. And remember, we're not going to take your kidney if it's not a safe option. By leaning forward into the idea, all you're doing is saying, I want to be checked. Yeah. That's all you're saying. We, and encouraging people today to, to go ahead and get you. I would absolutely do that. It is the most imp uh, impressive life-saving event that you can ever see happen before your very eyes. Wow. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. If you guys missed any of this information and maybe want more information on possibly being a kidney donor, you can just head on over to kb.com right after the newscast. We'll be right back.